Hey guys, today I'm here testing out the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Mine is in the shade Punja Medium 1. So obviously like I've never tried this foundation before and I know it's a lot of people's favorite. It's a very popular foundation. So I'm going to give it a go today and test it throughout the day and show you what it's like. Currently nearly 10 o'clock in the morning. I picked mine up from Sephora in Hawaii. You can obviously get it from Mecca Maxima online or, or Sephora. Um, yeah, there's plenty of places that do sell this. Starting out with the packaging, it comes in a very nice box. And then if you just open it up and this is what the bottle looks like. This one you have to twist off and it does not have a pump, which a lot of people, it upsets a lot of people. I don't have a pump for it. I haven't bought one or anything like that. So I'm just going to use it straight from here. Hopefully it should match my fake tan today. Yeah, let's get started. I am going to use a beauty blender to apply it because that's what I've been doing lately. I haven't even been using my foundation brushes. Seems quite full. What I'll do is I'll do one side of my face. So typically I like a foundation that has full coverage and that is long lasting. The fact that it says sheer glow makes you think that it um, is a luminous foundation, but it doesn't have a lot of coverage. So I am going to blend this out and we'll see the color and coverage. I do have an oily T-zone. That is usually the first place to go for me. Seems like it blends quite nicely. Like, I mean, I don't really know a foundation that doesn't blend really nicely and easily with the Beauty Blender. So it does have a bit of coverage, but I wouldn't say that there's a huge amount of coverage. Maybe medium coverage. Like, I mean, that's just the first layer. So let's go do this side of my face. Oh, I didn't put a primer on. I'll put a primer. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna put a primer on this side of my face. And I'm using the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I probably took too much. Okay, so now for this side. Sorry, I'm just like splodging it. I didn't want to pour it on the back of my hand. And then just blending it out. This will be interesting to see what it's like with and without the primer. And that primer is like, God, it's amazing. Looks like it kind of looks better without the primer, but it has been on my face for like a few minutes longer has had time to settle a little bit. Okay, so there's one layer. I don't like how it's sitting on my nose. It looks a bit separated and I'm not really a big fan of that. I'm gonna go ahead and put two layers on this side. Two layers definitely provides way more coverage. Way, way, way more coverage. I do really like the color of this. I think it looks really nice. I don't know, it looks a little bit cakey on my cheeks. I don't know. I'll do this side and see what the result will be. Okay, so two layers. It is separating on my nose. It doesn't sit right, which I'm a little bit disappointed at. The rest of my face looks fine. I feel like it does look a little bit cakey, but I don't know if you guys can tell or not. From close up, you can see it highlights every hair kind of thing. But I'm going to finish the rest of my face and see how it goes. Also do a flash test like normal and everything like that. So I'll see you when I've finished my makeup. It's currently 10.08. That was actually very quick and easy to apply though. Um, this does definitely help. Okay, so it's 11.27 and I finished my makeup. I had a few interruptions, so it didn't take me that long. Um, but the foundation, it's like, it's looking okay. I don't think it's a full coverage. Like, I mean, obviously with the title, I wouldn't expect it to be full coverage. Don't exactly love how it's sitting on my nose. Um, but so far, like so good. It does make me look very, very pale when I wear a dark lip. So it does match me quite well to my fake tan. And yeah, I'll check back in with you in a few hours to give you an update on the foundation. Hey guys, it's about quarter past 3 p.m. So I've had the makeup on. I always do this. 11, 12, 1, 2. I've had the makeup on for five hours at this point in time. It's actually holding up so, so well. I can see that it's separated a little bit in my nose. So you can see my pores. 
It looks fine sitting on top of the nose, but I have got like it set quite well. It looks really cakey around here. Everywhere else it looks quite nice. Like the finish of it is quite good. I do look a bit cakey though. I think it looks better without primer, unless I have one better side of my face. It looks a lot more glowy on this side. It's a bit hard to tell. So I did a flash test and it turned up okay. I know that sometimes I've taken flash tests and it looks like just amazing, like different foundations, but this one just looked okay. It wasn't anything special. I don't, it might have had like a tiny bit of flashback, which is strange because I don't think there's any SPF. So I'll show you with and without flash side by side. I'm not like hunting. I don't know, five hours, high-end foundation. I don't know, maybe because I had high hopes for it. It just looks like a bit cakey and a bit oily. Oily is fine, but the cakiness, especially around here, uh, I'm not too sure about. So I'll see you in a few hours. Hey guys, I'm back and it is 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. So I've had the makeup on for like 11 hours now. And I've got to say, I am actually really impressed. It was quite a warm day here today and not that I did anything strenuous, but like I was wearing sunglasses and... Oh, you might be able to see like a little bit there. My face does feel quite oily and I cannot wait to take my makeup off. Um, but I think it's held up really quite well. Keep in mind, I do have really, not really bright lights, but I have lights on me right now and they're not the most forgiving things. So of course I'm gonna look quite shiny. I look really, really shiny in my nose there. Yeah, my chin and my nose and a little bit on my forehead. Apart from that, the rest of my face looks quite good. It has transferred a little bit where I've wiped my nose. I don't know, I can't see any other transfer, but as I said, oh, my eyelash is coming off there. I haven't really done that much today. So I'm actually quite impressed with this one. Um, considering I've had it on 11 hours. Um, now the difference between the primer and the not side of not... To be honest, this side has stayed more like matte and powdery than this side with the primer, which is a little bit interesting. Has anyone else found that with and without primer? I think it stayed on better without primer. I should try this more often with and without primer. I just really want to take my lashes off to be honest. I'm just going to get a tissue and how much better does, it, does that look already? It has transferred a little bit onto the tissue, but like that's just cleared that up for me. I bet like it just needs some blotting papers. It does actually transfer a bit onto the tissue, which makes me think that this foundation would transfer. But to be honest, that's just taken the oil off the top. How much better does that look? and I've just used a tissue, like not even a blotting paper, just a tissue, and it looks so much better already. Obviously, I'm really tired. So that is the end of my first impression slash review for the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Have you tried this foundation? Do you love it? Do you hate it? What do you think of it? I'm actually really, really impressed. I'm going to have to go and review those flash and no flash photos because I do want to find out, you know, if it does suit me and I want to see if the primer does affect it. Impressed that it lasts so long, doesn't seem to transfer that much. Like that was a tissue that I used. Like, I mean, I guess at the end of the day you are paying money, like good money for, you're always paying good money. I guess at the end of the day, you're buying a high end foundation. You want to see the results. So that's why I like doing these First impressions where I test it out throughout the whole day so you can see how it wears and everything like that. Keep in mind, obviously, I do have oily skin. It isn't the oiliest of oily skins, but it does, obviously, as you can see, it does create oil throughout the day. So it's not normal, it's not dry. There's oil there. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave a playlist down below of all of my other first impressions there. Uh, tons of foundations there and if you want me to try out one leave a comment down below and yeah thanks for watching i'll see you soon bye so we didn't make it to adairs and i've just been like laying on the bed i nearly fell asleep before and then i got on youtube and watched shannon's vlog and yeah
yeah I'm so tired I need to go take an outfit of the day 